Hey guys, my name is Philippe Aris Genois. I was asset supervisor on Stranger Things season 4. And I'm Francois Couette. I was the CG supervisor on Stranger Things season 4. Today, we're going to do a breakdown of the DG doubles. Let's see it. We know that there's a main villain in the season, which is Vecna, and his superpower is to basically control people and lift them up in the air and essentially just break them. They shot the actors suspended in the air. They actually acted some of it as well. So it was very good for references, for lighting, for shading, uh, so that we could rebuild them so that they looked really, really faithful. And then we also had a, a bunch of like photos, like turning around each of the actors so we can basically get every angle and make sure that the texture or the, the modeling or the, the look of the character basically looks the same. Once we have a great looking DigiDouble, we have our, our actor replicated in 3D, uh, then we have to break them. Um, so we add initial research lead us to uh, wrestlers breaking their bones uh, while fighting. Wait, weightlifters, like. Yeah. And weightlifter, oh my yeah. God, yes, weightlifters. Just like elbow pops and uh, yeah, that's, like yeah. a soccer player that just like breaking their shin and the yeah, foot yeah, goes yeah. like that. Once we found these, we started uh, showing them to the client. The first thing that came back is that they were not gruesome enough. Uh, so real life is not disgusting enough. So uh, we got inspired by these, but then we built on top of it. So yeah, basically the asset supervisor is, is essentially like a, a link between the stationary CG, so everything that just stands still. So we do a model, it's like a T-pose, mm -hmm. it's not moving. And then we need to be the link between animation team and the rigging team mm -hmm. and the department that's essentially move our assets. And uh, yeah, that's kind of the link. It's a great uh, kind of teamwork between the uh, basically all the assets department. So there's four involved in the creation of DigiDouble. So we have the modeling, which is essentially just a clay sculpture of the, of the character. So then we have textures who are essentially just painting, like spray painting the colors on top of the, of the actual character. Then we have shading, look there, which is essentially how is the skin reacting to the light? How is like, uh, when you look at the jacket, it kind of reacts differently than skin or hair, for example. So this is also a big kind of chunk of the, of the work. And lastly, we have obviously uh, the grooming artists. They can create like any kind of shape of hair, any kind of haircut. Uh, so not only hair, but also like eyebrows, eyelashes. Uh, and yeah, so big shout out to, to these departments. So, so Diego did a fantastic job in, in texture, uh, Dorothy in, uh, in groom. Yeah, we had to keep the hair on yeah, some of them. Some of the uh, shots we kept the yeah. hair. Yeah, but some of the shots is 100% CG. Yeah. Uh, just because of the camera movements, the action, uh, everything that's happening. Um, initially, we wanted to keep a part of the plate, um, but then we realized quickly that if you break the upper part of the arm, for example, it's going to affect the shoulders, it's going to affect the torso, it's going to affect the movement of the, the neck as well. So it's going to affect the clothes? The clothes as well. Yeah. They're, gonna, they're wearing loose clothes most of the time, so these are going to have a kind of a ripple effect, so we had to change the whole thing. Yeah. It might look easy, but most yeah. of the time it's pretty hard. Like pretty uh, hard. with Virginia, she has very curly hair. Exactly. So how does that curl work? Is it, uh, is it large? Is it long? Is it, is it uh, the way it's actually tying to each other is very, uh, very hard to actually nail. Great job, Phil. Good job, Francois. 